In Module 2, Lesson 23, we'll continue solving equations using algebra. Exercise 1. The youth group is going on a trip to an amusement park in another part of the state. The trip costs each group member of the group $150, which includes $85 for the hotel and two one-day combination entrance and meal plan passes. In Part A, we're going to write an equation representing the cost of the trip, and we're going to let P be the cost of the parking pass. Our equation, then, is $85 plus 2 times P, where P is the cost of the park pass. Then in Part B, we're asked to solve the equation algebraically to find the cost of the park pass. Then write the reason that justifies each step using if-then statements. So we'll start with if 85 plus 2p equals 150, then 85 minus 85 plus 2p equals 150 minus 85. And that is the subtraction property of equality. In our next step, if 0 plus 2p equals 65, then 2p equals 65, and that is the additive identity because 0 plus any number is that number. And it follows if 2p equals 65, then 1 half times 2p equals 1 half times 65, and that is the multipli multiplication property of equality, which is using the multiplicative inverse of 2. And if 1p, which is what we get when we multiply 1 half times 2, equals 32 and 5 tenths, then p equals 32 and 5 tenths. And that is the multiplicative identity. because 1 times any number is that number. We're then asked to model the problem using a tape diagram to check our work. So if we draw a tape diagram, And in our tape diagram, we see the $85 initial fee, or hotel fee, and the two parking passes. We could then write an equation, 150 
minus 85 equals 65. And 65 divided by 2 equals 32 dollars and 50 cents. In summary, equations are useful to model and solve real world problems. The steps taken to solve an algebraic equation are the same steps used in an arith arithmetic solution.